Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So let's create our sign up page. Okay, so I'm going to go to the page name and say is equal to sign up like so. And actually, what we will do is let's link these pages to the correct place. So what I'm going to do is copy this whole thing and uh, copy like that. Okay. So what I'll do is go to the navigation and right inside here where it says point of sale, the href, I'm going to paste what I have here. So I have index.php. So you notice that every link will link to index.php. Regardless which page we are accessing, it's to the index page. So we just want one page to be loading everything. So index.php, page name is equal to, and then this is where we do POS like this. Now, page name may be quite big for you to use. So what you can do instead of page name, you can just put uh, PN or PG, something like this. That way the links are shorter. So PG like this. And if you do happen to change that, what you need to make sure is in the index.php page, that's what you're looking for. Instead of page name, we put PG like that okay so that's entirely up to you uh, you can use whatever you need to use there so let's go back to navigation again then I will copy this again now the usefulness of using valid names like page name is equal to is because you can always remember those even after months when you come back to see your work you will know exactly what that does so I'm selecting one and pressing Control D in um, Sublime Text to select all versions of this hash and then I'll paste. So all I need to change is this part here. So this one goes to admin, this one goes to login, and this one goes to sign up. Okay, great. So we can go ahead and do the same here. This is high user. I'll leave this as it is because this is not really a page. Uh, select all these and paste. On this one, I will do log out. And this one, I will do uh, page dash settings. That's valid. This one, I will do profile. Okay, good. Uh-huh. I think everything is good here. So now if I refresh my page, I can go to different pages. So let's start with the sign up page. So here I'm going to get the controller not found, which uh, isn't very cool for now, but we'll leave it there. So all I need to do is go to the home page here, home controller, sorry, copy everything from there. And then I'm going to go to, um, Let's see here, controller and uh, new file and the paste. So this one will be the signup controller dot PHP and uh, enter. So of course here, I will need to load the signup page. So we're going to uh, organize our code even more by putting these login things into auth and We'll say sign up like that. So this file does not exist. So here where we have views, then we have partials folder. So inside the views, I'll create a new folder. So in there, I'm going to call this one oath like that. And uh, inside oath, wait a second. Okay, so inside oath, that's where I'll create the new file and I'll copy everything from home view copy that into the new file paste and save this new file in oath so this one is signup.view.php very nice so it has a partial and here it's the signup page Okay, great. Let's remove the app name, or maybe not. So the thing is, 
let's see here if i refresh this is what i get okay sign up everything so let's redesign this to look a whole lot better so for example we have the main div here but i want another div inside here that has a fixed width so the thing is let me go back here uh, this container fluid hmm, I need to give it a minimum width. So now the problem is, if I keep having this thing on every uh, page, then it means if I change my mind from, let's say for example, I do style and I say min width, okay, which is 350 pixels, like that. I, should, I don't want it to go lower than that for, um, for cell phones, that is. Now, if I change my mind and say, oh, 350 is not good, I want this at 360, it means I have to go through every page because right now it's in the sign up view and it's here. But if I go to the home view, you see that uh, the contents are different. So I would have to change it here and there. Now, there are only two pages so far, but imagine a site with 100 pages. This can become a pain in the butt. So what I want to do is move all of this into the header. So I'm going to cut that and go to the header and then put it right here, like so. Now, since I've added it to the header, I definitely have to add it to the footer as well. So back to the sign up view and I will cut this div and put it in the footer. So footer view right before body, there should be this div okay so well and good which means now on the home page i don't need this anymore because it already exists in here and in there so we have a slight problem now it means our navigation is now inside that div which is not cool so what i would do instead you will notice this by if i refresh the page the navigation won't go all the way it will leave some spaces on the edge i don't want that so what I'll do is I'll get the partial for the navigation and put it inside the header. So right above this, I'll paste that. Now, I don't want this thing to show up on my uh, login page, right? I don't want any navigation there. So what I need to do is to tell it not to show up on the login page. So what I'll do is if I go back to index.php, I see that controller is the one that contains the actual controller name. So I can just use that to uh, tell me what page I am on. So in the header, I can just do this. It's uh, PHP. And say if controller is not equal to login, then I can display this. So do that. And uh, let's put an end if here. Now you notice that uh, as the website gets bigger, you will have more pages that you may not want the navigation to show. So if that happens, then you're in trouble because now you have to put if not equal to login or not equal to this. Now imagine there are five or 10 of those that will create a little bit of a problem. So what we'll do is instead of using the if statement, or we will use the if statement, of course, but um, let's do it more uh, practical. So I'm going to say, um, I'll create an array called omit or we'll call it no nav like this okay so i'll just do this and just add whatever item i want here so login like all the pages that i don't want the navigation to appear so i can add another one here um, let's try the sign up as well something like this okay so now I just tell, tell it to check if something is available in this in array. So if in array, the needle is what we are looking for, which is the controller. 
uh, the controller name and the haystack is the array so controller is here let me put controller there like so so we are saying if not in array so we put, put that exclamation point to negate this so if this is not um, if the current controller is not in this list that's what we are saying if it's not then display the partial so let's go back and let's see sign up oopsie things are not working as planned uh, let's see if not in array then display this huh. wait a second okay that's weird uh, let me go back to the login let's see if we can fix that okay so there's no there's no controller for the login so we have to rely on the sign up so sign up no nav sign up if not in array what's going on here okay let me copy this and do a var dump so i do var dump i want it to show me the result of doing in array without putting that exclamation point so back here refresh so it's saying boolean true okay cool uh why is the wait 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 okay so it's saying true this is in the array okay so if i say not in array this should be false right and that's true so it seems everything is working fine it's just that uh i guess maybe this is on the wrong place so let me do this so you can add as many as you want here and then finally let's put our if statement here separately like so so if not in array controller nav then uh, let's remove it okay something weird is going on because even the div here is uh, pretending to let me delete this and see if things will still work. Ah, so something weird going on here. So let me come back here and do this. Okay, so this is the header view. Let me make sure this is correct. Okay, and when I go to sign up, there's auth sign up. That's great. So let's go to the sign up view. Ah, okay. So this is why things are not working as planned. So these partials here nav. So we need we don't need that anymore because it's already inside the header here. So that's the reason why. Okay, great. Let's do the same for home view. Okay, it's already done. Let's refresh. Okay, there we go. So nothing there. But if now the sign up page is going to be where they uh, add new employees, so you need the navigation there, it's different from the login. So let me go back to header and remove the sign up. I'm just trying to show that you can add more than one. So let's just add the login to this list. Sign up is back in business. All right, great. So we got on a tangent there instead of creating the page, we started adding more stuff. So let's do the page adding in the next video.